Okay guys, so me and little bro are actually headed over to the property right now to work with my parents over there. I've been trying to get, you know, lining up some stuff for the truck and ordering stuff in. So I had to get that stuff done this morning, but in some video stuff and now I'm done. And man, this truck is just such a poor sight looking at it right now. Doesn't this suck? Look at this, dudes. Look at this crap. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd say we've got a leak. <sighs> There's a piece of metal stuck in my tire right there. I think I showed you guys in a video previous, but um, we got to go and get some work done here. So that's what we're going to do. we got to take the Ford, obviously, because that's not, sadly, I don't think that's drivable in its current state. we got to get the compressor over here so I can go pick up my other parts and then get that tire up so it can at least make it to wherever I'm going. So got to fix some chainsaws here. Chains are all off from the other day. Um, those of you who saw my work day the other day, um, let these fuel pumps up go here. Uh, those of you who saw my video the other day, you know that I was working on that tree, cutting it up. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, go do it. It was the thumbnail said workflow on it. But anyways, I was working on the tree and my chain came off and I didn't bring the tool with me because I figured ah, it's not going to be that long. I'm going to be over there a half hour. You know, nothing's going to happen to the chain in 30 minutes. As luck would have it, something did. So I'm going to start the truck up here. Doesn't start up quite like the first gen or the second gen, but she always fires up. Got the AC cranked up in here. It says it's only 75 out today, but it feels like it's way warmer than 75 degrees. But anyways, I had to find the, this isn't the right tool technically, but I had to find the tool to adjust the chainsaw to take off the, the two bolts on the side panel of that still to, you know, put the chain back on and then we just have a screwdriver I'm gonna have to use to, you know, adjust the tension of the chain. We're gonna get going here over to the farm, get some work done. On days like this where I've gotta go do other work that I don't, really want to do but I have to do I just kind of I'll just take my camera with me and do like a work day work day vlog type of thing and uh, try to make at least something for you guys to watch anyways that's just when I do those videos it's because I've got to do other stuff that can't really work on my truck we're gonna go get some work done I might continue cutting on that tree that I was doing the other day and he might be grading out some dirt and my dad and my mom I think are moving rock it'll be a it'll be a full day I just realized the last 10 minutes I've been driving this truck. I didn't even have the key in since I left the house. Well, yet again, having a difficulty while trying to cut up that stupid tree. I got the other saw, the small one, which usually works the best. It's just light, it cuts really fast. It's got a good chain on it. And the thing just keeps stalling. Like it'll run, it'll idle, but as soon as you start to apply fuel, it chokes up and kills it. So I don't know why. Okay guys, so I just wanted to do a real short little clip here of explaining what's been done to the power stroke so far. Those of you who have been around the channel since the beginning, you guys know what's been done. But those of you who may be newer, which are a lot of you guys who haven't seen any of the power stroke builds yet, um, I'm just gonna show you real quick some of what's been done. Uh, we have done the headlights, and remember there's still more stuff that we gotta do to it, but we've done the headlights, we did the grill with the amber lighting in it, that's not hooked up yet, and we have to still get the letters for the grill. Just, you know, everything costs money, and there's a lot of stuff, you know, gotta, gotta get done here. But, uh, you know, cab lights are all smoked cab lights here. And let's see, we did the 
third brake light, cargo lamp, and tail lights. And all the links for all of these mods that have been done to this truck or any of the other trucks are all in the description below. Always, they are always there. Every mod that we do, we add it to the list down there. It's all broken up from, you know, the first gen Cummins build, the 96, which isn't really much there yet because we haven't done much yet on it. Um, and then there's going to be the power stroke and all that stuff. It's all that stuff's going to be there. So if you guys are ever wondering, I wonder where you got that stuff. I wonder how much it costs. All those links are always provided in the description below. Even if it's under, let's say, a daily vlog and we don't do anything with the trucks, if it just crossed your mind, hey, I wonder what that was or where you got it, the links are always down there for you guys to go check out. So I just thought I'd really quick show you what's been done to the truck. Well, I'm going to try to fix one of our other saws, use that, and we're also going to try to hook up this hay wagon here and pile it up with limbs. So we can move some limbs away from the side of the road and get those thrown into a burn pile and then we will be one step further with that tree project hopefully i can get this other saw thick and then we can just run that and get it all taken care of look at this bird i just saw this when i was walking over here that's funny they just get in the barn and then they just fly around here in the dark running into freaking beams and crap bracing but anyways we're gonna get to doing that all right now you just put the pin in i got this Ready? Line it up. Line it up right there. Here we go. Now put the pin in. And since I've got a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are farm guys, you guys are into tractors and stuff, you guys are asking about Snapchatting me, what model is your Kubota? It's a 3240. And I mean, it's I think it's like between 35 and 38 horsepower. So it's nothing big at all by any means. But, you know, for what we do with it, hauling hay wagons, picking up two bales at a time for these you know big 800 to 1000 pound square bales stuff like that like it gets the job done um, and it's just a good little maneuverable tractor and we also use it for food plots and small plots and stuff like that for deer management and stuff yeah we should be able to get it out it'll be a tight fit but i think we can get it between there so no, i think we'll be good that is they're gonna try to get the hay wagon out here and load up some branches i think we're gonna make it Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Woo! We made it, barely, but we made it. I got the bush hog all hooked up here as you guys can see now and when I'm done I gotta grease up some parts on there some zerks but I'm going to uh, just do a time lapse here and uh, do a little bush hogging on this field here if you can see they got the alfalfa on that side and then uh, it's just kind of outlined with this big gap and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the bush hog around here and mow this all down at least try attempt to mow it all down see how fast we can get this done here hopefully it won't take too long so hang in there if you haven't already please like the video leave a comment below
Well, we got it all finished up here and uh, definitely looks a lot better. This was getting pretty overgrown. We had, uh, that's the first time that I've cut it this season so far, so pretty good. It's only, that was a month of growth and it wasn't as high as I thought it would be by this time. So pretty good, pretty good. I had it actually, if you guys wanna know what gear I was running most of the time, believe it or not, I was running too high and this thing was cruising and cutting right along and you can see where I have the deck. It's basically almost touching the ground. So, I mean, it, it did really good. I was surprised that uh, I was able to get through. A lot of it was really patchy. Like there's some tall stuff, but most of it wasn't that high. So I was able to actually go through this pretty quick. This probably took me 30 minutes to do this whole area. And generally, if I was in, let's say three or four low, just crawling, it would, it would have taken me an hour and a half or two. So, uh, always good to save some time as long as you as long as you're not really hurting the equipment so that's what I did and it went pretty well looks way better good to get that done it's a beautiful afternoon just gonna go and hang out with the family a little bit more anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video I really do hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys would like to see more workflow work vlogs this style definitely let me know it's not like i have to go out of my way to find work to do there's always work to do it's just a matter of whether or not i take my camera if you guys want to see more of this style definitely let me know make sure you hit that like button it really does help me out and i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace and i'm trying to chase a dream but everybody trying to stop me they've been saying it ain't worth it and i gotta work a job but i hit a hundred thousand now they trying to tag along i'ma live it every day i'ma live it till my grave i'ma live it like the summer hope this life won't fade away I've been